Hey guys, Alex Peak Performance Reviews, welcome to another vlog. Today I'm going to bring to you the new Suzuki Sport, uh, or new Suzuki Swift Sport. And um, yes, yeah, in this lovely, I wouldn't say garish, but I love it, it's brilliant. It's like a really vibrant kind of citrusy uh, yellow. I'll give you the actual uh, spec of the paint um, in the description, so look in the bio. Um, but yeah, um, really, really cool little car, 140 PS. Um, it's just that kind of step above like things like the Volkswagen GT, uh, up GTI. So it should be really, really good. Like I say, it's, um, at the time of when I'm talking to you, it's basically not even released yet. So it's been really, really cool that we're getting an opportunity to go around the Millbrook Hill Climb in this sporty little uh, kind of uh, warm hatch. So yeah, anyway, watch on and let's see what the video is like and what the car is like and what I think. And uh, yeah, look forward to having a little drive in it. Little keyless uh, entry and it's on a push button start. So that's... Aircon on, must much needed. So, yeah, look at that. That's quite cool. It's a little boost, boost gauge, and yeah, really nice sounding motor actually. Really, really quite cool. Uh, nice touch uh, screen display here. And link a smartphone and do all this kind of different stuff. But yeah, it's um, like I say, nice little bucket seats. It's a a simple, simplistic, but quite nice place to be again for the price point of £17,000 um, yeah it's a nice little digital display there nice and clear with the boost um, and obviously oil, pre or oil temperature and things like that but yeah nice little kind of digital dials in here and it's a, it actually is much much improved from the uh, previous generation um, so yeah let's, let's go on and uh, drive this thing and see what it's like nice little reverse camera as well which is quite nice Always handy to have. Perfect. I'll turn the traction control off now. Let's give it a little bit more of a push. Let's see what this chassis is like. It feels really, really good. So push is it nervous on the braking no front end grip is good that's no, it's great so guys that is the end of the test um and in short this is a little pocket rocket feels like it's quicker than 140 horsepower but it's got um a really sprightly motor a lovely steering weight um you know maybe I mean it's heavy it's not you know not too light which i really really like so there's plenty of communication and feedback through the steering but um the chassis is brilliant and the brakes are amazing the gearbox is decent um six-speed gearbox um it returns really really good fuel consumption um i mean it's doing 34 miles per gallon and we're we're ragging it um and we're pushing it hard and um yeah it's mega it's such a good sprightly very revy um not revy but very responsive motor um and it's very sprightly um but the most the, the best thing about it is it's it is handling is absolutely amazing for a seventeen thousand pound car it's a lot of car for the money i think they look great as well and for that money just again that step in the segment of where you kind of go into that hot hatch range it's just brilliant and um it ticks all the boxes but yeah I hope you enjoyed the uh, video, guys. As always, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you again on the next one. Goodbye for now.